Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A trade-in value from Parkway RV Center. And folks, I'm going to show you a blast from the past. Now, this motorhome is not going to be for the average RV shopper. Um, this is a 1990 model Holiday Rambler Imperial 35 with a tag axle. I know that there is a huge retro camper movement that have, that have clubs and, and, and meetings and all that. And this is for those type of buyers in those clubs or people interested in the retro RVing. This is probably the nicest 1990 Imperial on the market today. Uh, we traded on it here. It was bought new at Ships RV in Chattanooga, which in 1990 was one of the biggest holiday rambler dealers in the United States. Of course, they've long been out of business, but um, this was bought new, a uh, town called Birchwood, Tennessee, which is a suburb of Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's been a one owner RV. The people that bought this RV new traded this in. It's been kept in a building uh, when they weren't using it, and it shows it. 47,000 actual original miles, and folks, let me tell you something. This thing is immaculate. They don't build them like this anymore, folks. Uh, they've got their own unique look, Holiday Rambler did. I've got the original bill of sale where they paid $91,000 in 1990 prices for this motorhome. I've got the original sales brochure and this thing is 100% original, folks. Not been modified. Perfect for those of you who are retro RVers because you're not going to find nothing like this anywhere else, folks. Let's go over this Holiday Rambler. I want you to look at the slick lines on this RV. No delamination. Still got a shine to it. It's built on a P30 chassis. It's got the 454 carbureted V8 with the three-speed automatic transmission. Awnings in perfect shape, got the metal roof. The whole sides of these Holiday Ramblers, they look like fiberglass, but this is actually the, the smooth aluminum siding that's riveted in instead of glued in, so you don't have delamination issues, and that's why the shine and the finish looks as good as it does for a 1990 model. Tag axle, tires look great. I have drove this motor home from Birchwood down here myself personally. Drove it about 25, 30 miles, and it hit the road just like it's basically a time capsule, folks. And they kept it in a building when they weren't using it. This is a beautiful RV. Of course, got those distinctive gold aluminum trim, red, white, and blue, and, and there's a story behind that, folks. You see, in 1990, Holiday Rambler was owned by Harley Davidson Motorcycle Company and they've owned it for several years and they just like the harley davidson motorcycles they wanted the holiday rambler motorhomes to just have a distinctive look when you saw them going down the road in other words and they quoted saying this that they whether it's a harley davidson or a holiday rambler motorhome they want you to know what it is without reading a name badge and that's exactly what they did with this holiday rambler Ships RV Center. But look, it's got the fiberglass cap, looks perfect. It's not been backed into anything. The bumper's got the 5,000 pound hitch on the back. Look at the sides, folks. Look how straight, no bubbles, no delamination. Beautiful RV. It's got a 6,500 Onan gasoline generator powering everything up right now. Both airs are ice cold. The refrigerator has been changed in the last couple of years but they did go back with an RV two-way refrigerator freezer. The HWH, the original HWH hydraulic leveling jacks work, folks. It's got the Moore Ride suspension. Of course, back then, uh, the Moore Ride was a rubber suspension instead of, instead of airbags like they are now. And it is a tag axle, so it drives great. 35 feet long, got the driver's side door. Look at the striping and finish on this RV, folks. You're not going to find another one like this anywhere. Of course, back then they had that distinctive front end grill, that offset grill. Windshields are perfect. Motorhome runs and drives, shifts perfectly, no check engine lights. Look at that grill, folks.
very, very fortunate to have this motorhome. And like I said, again, this isn't for everybody. But I promise you, you're not going to find a better built, better conditioned motorhome in any year model for that 14.9 price. All aluminum frame. You can see they got the Tennessee sticker where they bought it new, aluminum frame. Holiday Rambler actually invented the aluminum frame back in the 70s and have used them ever since. They were the first motorhome to come out with the aluminum frame. Got the uh, metal roof with the fiberglass corners. Y'all pardon the ambulance hole or fire truck. Look inside this RV. This is original carpet, original upholstery. According to the previous owner, this clear plastic carpet runner has been down since the day they brought it home from Ship's RV. Look up here in the front, folks. The front flex steel captain's chair is all original. Got the original TV, CB radio, stereo. Um, 47,998 miles. So we might as well say 48,000. Generator runs, fires up perfectly, got the uh, fans in the front, got the padded headliner, not a speck of it is hanging down, folks. This is like literally stepping back in time 30 years. Uh, seats, of course, look great, got the fold-up table. Um, sofa makes a bed, table booth makes a bed. Got the wood, got the wood countertops, just like the original filtered water dispenser. I believe that's the original faucet, folks. Solid wood cabinets, built-in coffee maker, microwave. I think that microwave has been replaced, and so has the fridge. And I'm afraid my generator is about to run out of fuel. We're down right at a quarter. Um, nor cold refrigerator freezer. This is only a couple of years old and it looks like it's barely been used. You don't see four eye stove tops anymore. Table booth makes a bed, upholstery again. Now I've got it folded to cover up the personal information of the, of the original owner. But look at this right here, folks. And this is back when everybody hand wrote these. $91,241. I had a $40,000 trade in. That's a lot of money back then. That's more than a house cost back then. Original sales brochure, folks. You can't find that on the internet anywhere. No soft spots. The floor solid, roof solid. Amazing, folks. Here in the back, got a queen bed, got the original color matching uh, bedspread. Got the etched glass cabinets, all original, none of them are broken. Of course, you got your air conditioner back here. Place for a TV back here if you want to put one. It's got the VCR. You can look underneath the windows. There's no signs of leak damage anywhere. All the lights work. I mean, this, folks, is a beautiful RV. Got a fully enclosed side bathroom, and look at this. Original toilet, and look at the shower. You know, these, these plastic showers usually discolor and turn yellow when they get old. This thing is bright white, obviously. They've kept it inside, and, and it hasn't discolored the plastic. <laughs> Original wallpaper, none of it's hanging down, none of it's peeling again, folks. You look around that, look around that padded headliner, no sagging. This is a motor home that you need to see and drive to believe. So it can sleep up to six. Like I said, it's got a generator, double airs, refrigerator works. Thing runs and drives perfectly, folks. Now, it does have a U-line ice maker. I don't guarantee those because you can't get them anymore. I don't know if it works or not. I'm assuming from the ice trays in the freezer that they don't. Um, but they never removed it. Now, you might be able to find a used one online to replace it with if you just got to have one, but uh, that's the original ice maker. So I'm 99% I'm certain it probably doesn't work, and I'm not, I'm not getting into buying one of those because I, I don't like to buy used parts uh, for used RVs because they're, sometimes they're 
unpredictable to say the least. But anyway, folks, beautiful RV. I mean, 47,000 original miles, one owner. Beautiful. And like I said, I know this isn't for everyone. In fact, most of you watching for watching this video, you'll appreciate it, but it wouldn't be for you. But for those of you who are into retro camping, this is a this is a diamond right here. For those of you who are into the retro camping and retro RVs, this is an absolute diamond. Fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars, folks. I'm not taking a penny less for it. I'll show you all the major RV components work. In other words, I'm going to put water propane on it, make sure everything works. I know the jacks, the generator, the airs, and the fridge work in the lights, but we'll go one step farther and, um, and check everything on it for the $14,900. And, folks, I'm not trying to be difficult. I know this is a... Uh, I know this is an older RV. I mean, good Lord, how long ago was 1990? That's 28 years ago, almost 29 years ago since the 19s are out now. That's, uh, so keep in mind, this thing is, is older than some of you watching this video. But you got to look at what it is, the condition it's in. Where are you going to find another one at with 47,000 miles in this nice of condition? 14.9 haggle free non-negotiable if you want it checked out i will take a little bit less for it if you want to just come take it as is uh, without an inspection or anything like that um, of course you know that 14.9 price includes the inspection that will be completed after purchase it will include after we check it out and get it ready to go it will include a uh, walkthrough demonstration by the rv tech that checked it out and be honest with you folks um, I'll probably have to help out with that uh, because not many of my guys have worked on older RVs like this and they're a little bit different so chances are I'm probably going to have to assist them with the walkthrough um, just because I know these older motorhomes about better than anybody here I grew up with my family owning holiday ramblers back in the 80s so I'm kind of a nostalgic for myself that's why I'm so excited about this one folks and believe me, if I could justify owning two motorhomes, I, I would buy this one just for the nostalgia factor. But anyway, um, and also, uh, let me go ahead and tell you, those of you who are not familiar with these older motorhomes, uh, it does have two roof airs. It's got 30 amp electrical service because back in 1990, 50 amp didn't exist at campgrounds. So you can only run one air at a time when you're hooked into shore power. It's got a 6.5 uh, gasoline generator that will run both airs on generator only so the concept back then what people did is they ran both airs when they're driving to where they're getting to go and it cools it off in here then they plug into shore power and just switch from one to the other and you've got a switch that should be in the closet um, to switch from front to rear air but you cannot run both airs on shore power I'm just just trying to stop a problem before you start it's just 30 amp service all old RVs were like that back then, folks. I remember it, but, you know, some of you may not or may not have been around RVs then. But anyway, um, I mean, just a beautiful RV. You can't deny it. Even if you're not into old RVs, you want newer ones, you can still appreciate the beauty of this one. I mean, look at the cabinets, folks. Look at the... Uh, like I said, the, the, the detail work is something they just don't have anymore. Of course, back then, like I said, this cost as much as, as many people's homes did back in 1990. So, um, definitely a nice RV. And that's why it's in such good shape now. People obviously have taken... I wish everybody took this good a care of an RV, especially after owning it for almost 30 years. Give us a call, folks, 14-9, haggle-free firm. There is no financing on a 1990 model through any of our lenders. So if you need to finance it, you're going to have to check with your own bank or credit union. We just simply don't have financing. We might be able, if you're local to us, we might be able to get you a, a few thousand dollars borrowed on it from a local bank or credit union, only if you're local. But like I said, you'll have to check with your own bank or credit union. Uh, to finance this and more likely you're probably going to have to get a signature loan because these older RVs 
Uh, most banks don't want to do a 1990 model vehicle, so get you a signature, a personal loan, or or if you've got a car or truck that's paid for, you might want to finance it and use the proceeds from that to buy this RV. Uh, more than likely, whoever buys this is obviously going to be a cash buyer, and it's going to be somebody looking for a retro motorhome. And this is definitely one of those type folks. I mean, this is something that somebody's probably going to travel a couple of thousand miles to buy. Um, because you just don't find these motorhomes like this on the market every day, not in this kind of condition. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Come down, look at it, let us know you're coming. We'll plug it into power, run the generator, uh, have it cooled off for you. You can come test drive it. You're not going to be disappointed, folks. This is a beautiful RV. You'll probably never see another one this nice again uh, for $14.9. So definitely... Uh, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays only, you can call 423-605-6747. Our main number, the 706 number, 965-7929, is answered 24-7. If, 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 if it's after business hours, we have an answering service that will have basic information. And If they can't help you out, of course, uh, they will. Um, take your information down and forward it to our non-commissioned sales department who will call you the next business day. I don't get many of these older motorhomes like this in and the few that I do get folks are normally rough, 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 but man this is a, this is just a pleasure to be in to shoot a video on, I'll be honest with you. I mean this pretty much made my week just coming in here and shooting this video because this is something I just I don't see every day and I know you don't because I look at a whole lot more RVs a day than, than y'all do no offense but this is just something that um, you just see come around very very rarely give us a call folks 706-965-7929 as always before driving any significant distance come please call make an appointment verify availability before you come down to look at it because this is something somebody could, will, will see driving down the road, come in and just buy. So uh, keep that in mind. Wait, you know, if you're going to be a week before you get down here to look, wait till right before you leave the house and call us to make sure it's here so we can, uh, I don't want you to make a wasted trip because it's got, it may have a deposit on it, it may already be sold because I never delete my YouTube videos. Today is June, or July, June 29th, 2018. Keep that in mind. I never delete my YouTube videos. And obviously this thing's going to sell quickly. Uh, first person looking for an old motor home that's nice, it will buy this. Hands down, no doubt about it. I mean, this thing is better built than most motor homes are that are 10, 15 years newer. And definitely for a lot, this is a lot cheaper than some of those other motor homes that aren't built near as well. So... What I'm getting at, folks, like the old saying goes, they're not built like they used to. This is back when motorhomes had character. They didn't all look the same. The Imperials had their own distinctive styling, even over the other Holiday Ramblers. And um, so call us, email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, you can visit our website for our most up-to-date inventory list. I do have some stuff that's not posted online, so if you don't see what you're looking for, call, tell the salesperson what you're looking for, and we may have it in stock and just not post it online yet. Um, but anyway, check out our website. We do take trade-ins, obviously, and we'll trade for anything that's legal to resell and we don't have to feed. Uh, I mean, we'll trade for uh, RVs. Uh, travel trailers, fifth wheels, pop-ups, whatever type of RV you got. We'll trade for cars, trucks, SUVs. We'll trade for uh, boats. Uh, very limited on what we take on motorcycles. I'm sure those of you who are trying to sell a motorcycle or trade it know why the market's flooded with them. But, um, you know, we will take like a dirt bike or a four-wheeler side-by-side or, uh, or a dual sport bike on trade. Uh, we will take uh, lawn equipment, tractors. We've, we've traded for semi-trucks. We've traded for guns, jewelry, gold, silver. I mean, we'll, we'll trade for anything of value that we can legally resell and we don't have to feed every day. So no livestock, please. And believe it or not, I've actually had people wanting to trade me livestock before. So 
Uh, if I had a place to go with it, I'd trade for it, but I don't. And I don't really know enough about it to, to trade for them. But anyway, um, thank you for watching my video. I can't stress to you enough again how nice this motorhome really is. You need to come look at it in person like you do any used vehicle. I do not recommend buying something sight unseen when it's used, especially when it's 28 years old. Um, and I certainly appreciate the trust that people put in, in us and our dealership because uh, we sell a couple of hundred RVs a year to people we never even meet. They don't know what they bought until after they paid for it and they have it delivered and they don't know what they got until it pulls up their driveway. And uh, I certainly appreciate the trust that those of you who buy like that put in us, but we are old fashioned. We prefer the handshake to handshake. We prefer to meet who we do business with, shake their hands. That's the way you should be too. Let us show you around the dealership, meet our employees, look at our inventory, and you'll see that why we you'll see quickly why we've been here since 1968. That's 50 years in business, folks. And I always say this, but there's a lot of truth to this statement. If you want a true testimony to how a dealership does business, the kind of RVs they sell, how they treat their customers, and the prices they sell them for, no better testimony. Look at that. That's original uh, privacy curtain. No, uh, no statement is more true than this one right here. 50 years, family owned and operated, third generation. That right there should tell you all. We're one of the largest independently owned used RV dealerships in the country and definitely one of the oldest and most successful. We sell almost 600 used units a year, folks. So we've got connections to get RVs uh, that other dealers can only dream about. We own everything we sell, titles in the office. Uh, this, this RV right here has got the original 1990 Tennessee title, one owner title. Anyway. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, been a treat, been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed watching it because as much as I enjoyed shooting it, come look at this motor home if you're interested in, in a retro RV or getting into retro RVing. There's, make sure you get online and research the clubs. They have rallies and stuff for retro RVs. Um, and they're growing up. I mean, they're growing substantially. And something like this that's all original that you just can't go wrong, folks. So anyway, thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, call us, email us. We can. Uh, we do offer nationwide delivery. And like I said, you'll have to arrange your own financing because of the year model. But um, if you have any questions about any of this or you got interest in this motorhome, call us. You can go to our website. We've got a 24-7 operator answered, live operator answered chat and text. And they'll be more than happy to answer basic questions. And, of course, they will forward your information to our sales department if you need to know more information that they can't, they can't provide. <laughs> That's the original toilet, folk with the vinyl seat. Like I said, it, it's literally a time capsule. Thank you again, folks. Look forward to seeing you in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.